Hey, what is up guys? So today we are going to be doing an unboxing of one of the random sports and collectible boxes I just got at auction. I spent about $2,000, a little less than that actually, probably more like seventeen or $1,800, um, but I ended up getting so much stuff. I'll kind of give you guys a little walkthrough. We're going to go through this box by itself and kind of get an idea of what kind of collectibles we have in there, but we got all kinds of figures, like starting lineup figures like those. Got some more up there. We got tons of boxes of cards, collectibles. Sorry, that's my garbage. <laughs> uh, the room is a mess, so pardon me. Um, we got binders of cards like those. We got more cards sleeved up and everything right there. Oh, there's plenty more. Don't worry, guys. This is just a little bit of it. <laughs> got a little stack right there. Some more cards, more cards. And they're not all 90s crap. A lot of them are really cool. Uh, 70s and sometimes earlier. There's some 60s in here. We got all of this here. As you can see, there's a lot. Uh, we got entire boxes of starting lineup figures. We have that entire cart is full of stuff there. We have also another cart in my uh, bigger room in there that is full. And guys, there's so many different things. We have magazines, we have starting lineup figures, we have McFarlane figures, we have uh, obviously tons of sports cards. Um, we have some uh, other variations of cards also, kind of like these here. So we got like Star Trek and all the different uh, shows and movies. They were just really producing a ton at the time. I mean, you know, there's things like that. I mean, some of these are almost like niches of niches of niches. You know, it's very interesting. Um, we got all of these figures here, tons of other memorabilia. And you got hats and new merchandise in there, stack of magazines. So without further ado, we're just going to jump into... The actual video i just wanted to show you guys what we are going to be doing in the future some stuff that we're going to be uh unboxing possibly <clears throat> um we'll just jump into it sorry this video is not like 100 percent the best quality but i just wanted to show you guys some of the things we are getting so i'll move you guys right there put you down a little bit more hope you guys can see okay all right for it okay so basically we're gonna be start going through this was actually in it too so we'll just start off with this i accidentally took it out so um this is a starting lineup uh award winners lineup it has guys like roger clemens cal ripkin jr tom glavin all those type of guys there pretty cool so i'm gonna scan it as we go and then kind of give you guys a price idea the box looks like it's in pretty good shape um so we'll go by ebay pricing um, obviously the barcodes make that super simple if you guys don't know you can go on here and use the barcode scanner and it alleviates a lot of the time so let's see what we got here it's selling for somebody got it listed for $28.50 free shipping we'd assume it's going to probably cost us about 10 to 15 dollars to ship it um one sold for let's say 20 dollars on this one because that's about what they're selling for one sold for 30 but with shipping we'll call it 20 bucks there moving on we have a little De uh, David Carr figure. Don't know if that has any value or not. We'll check. Let's see. We'll scan that. So that we're looking at about, mm, let's go to, I always go to completed listings. Okay, so that's really not selling for 15. That's what they have it listed for. We'll see probably three or $4 through my auction on that. Moving on. We have a tin of cards. I'm trying to give you guys a good angle here. A tin of cards. Oh, they're falling out. Okay, so you got some of these type of cards here. I don't know if they have any value. We'll probably call it $3 there. We got the Harry Potter. They have a $2 tag on that, but it may be worth more now. They look like they're actually used, but regardless. What is this? A two-player starter set. Hmm. It's a trading card game. I'm actually not too familiar with this. I didn't know they made a trading card game. But let's see what it's worth, if anything. Whoa, it's actually a... It sells for a decent amount. I didn't realize. Um, brand new, it sells for $25. But let's go... Let's go to used and see if we can get a better idea there. Okay, used, we're looking at $16 there. It doesn't seem like... Our, if ours has everything, it's going to be about $16. If it doesn't, then we're probably looking at like more like a couple bucks. So that's not a bad deal. I thought that would be worth less, to be quite frank. And we have this book. 
I'm not too sure anything about this. We'll scan it, see what comes up. Um, so it's gonna be five dollars, you know, something like that. We just immediately throw in the auction. Not too big of a deal at all. Oops, I just dropped the figure. <laughs> all right, next, let's see what else we got in here. We have uh, some. I'm not gonna look up everything, guys, because I think it would take too long. But we have some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there. We have some Alf cards. It looks like those are probably like 80s or 70s even. Pretty cool. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting it in the camera for you. We have a box full of 007 cards. It's pretty neat. A lot of this used stuff is probably gonna go straight to the auction. John Elway, really cool. Little guy there, tops. I'm sure he's probably worth five or 10 bucks. Who is this? We got Nomo, Hideo Nomo. I, I, I don't watch a lot of baseball, so I'm not sure if he was good or not, but there's him. A pretty cool book. It's neat. Looks like it was not produced for a whole while. Another, another uh, figure here, Andreas. We got tons of the Ninja Turtle stuff here. These look to be, let's see, 80s. I'm not sure what these are, probably also 80s too. Yeah, 1989 on those, so um, that's a pretty big set there. We could probably assume about 10 bucks, at least for the set, if not more. Um, something I've done really well with is Garbage Pail Kids. I'll go through these and see if there's anything special. Um, let's see if I can get it open. I can never figure out some of these cases. I don't wanna, oh, there it goes. So I don't know which ones are and aren't necessarily worth money. I, I just do research on some of them. I know like there's a few that are worth pretty good money. Well, those are all the backs of them. I don't know if you guys, if you guys see anything worth a lot of money, let me know. <laughs> They're so freaky looking, some of these things. It's very interesting. All right, we got those. Um, even through my auction, even the ones that aren't that good, just like the miscellaneous uh, garbage pail, we were getting about $30 per lot. Like I would say probably about 40 of them, 30 or 40 of them. So we're probably getting roughly about 60 cents, 70 cents a card. Um, so that's not bad at all. <clears throat> More Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. A huge lot of them there. We got some Pokemon cards. It's always a good thing. Let's roll through these a little bit. Just trying to make sure you guys get to see everything. Nothing. A lot of commons. Nothing crazy. We got one sleeved card. Let's see what that is. Absol. I think this is actually a pretty good card. Yeah, this looks like it's in pretty good shape, too. That. That could be some money there. I'm definitely gonna look that one up. Um, we'll keep going here. Looks like a lot of these are just commons. I don't see anything else that's hollowed or anything like that. That one happened to be in a sleeve. Let's see. No, nothing there. Okay, so just a stack of like commons. A lot of them are uh, um, base set actually, but they're not worth a whole lot. So those will probably go through the auction and maybe um, there's a little bit more right there, actually. Check out this stack too. So we might end up getting roughly, let's just assume, um, probably maybe like 10 to $15 for all those cards, maybe a little bit more, um, but probably not. That's one of the, let's see, that's the tops there. And these are all, <laughs> how many we have of this guy? That's, I'm sure he's worth a, a, a lot of money, huh? So we'll just put those aside. Again, nothing special in there. Let's see what else we have. Not more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. More Pokemon cards. Let's pop these open and see if there's anything else in here. Nothing yet. Guys, comment down below if you guys think I will make any money on this lot. Again, I spent about <clears throat> about probably about eighteen hundred dollars after gas and everything um, at the auction, and I bought everything you see. Let me know if you guys think we will end up pulling a profit or if we'll lose money on this deal. I feel pretty good about it so far, but uh, you know I want to hear your guys' opinion. <clears throat> All cards are falling out, so we got a little bit more Pokemon. Doesn't look like it's anything special. 
Then we got some ALF cards here. Big stack of them. Those are actually, yeah, mid 80s. So those are pretty cool. <clears throat> some Robin Hood cards. Like some of this stuff is just kind of crazy that they made a Ghostbusters 2 cards. Like I didn't even know they made a lot of this stuff. They were just really pushing all of the different trading cards that you can get. Um, another figure, Gary Sheffield. I've heard of him. We got some more turtles. More Alf cards. Plenty of Alf and uh, Ninja Turtle cards. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of those for a while. Growing Pains, again, something that you wouldn't think they would make a card of, but they did. And then we got Garbage Pail Kids again. These could be, um, I think the Garbage Pail all together will probably end up bringing them close to like 40 to $50, maybe more. Um, I'm gonna pull you guys up a little bit. Make it easier for me to show you. Okay, we got these Dinosaurs Attack Tops cards. I don't know anything about these. Let me know if you guys have ever heard of these um, down below. I don't know anything about them, so we'll we'll probably sell these through the auction unless they're worth a ton of money through eBay, then we might stick them on there. But nothing that uh, I know too much about. But more Alf cards, of course. Just a little case. It looks like an empty case. Maybe it once had cards in it. That is Lou Brock, and that's like an old um, 1978, actually. That's pretty cool. That I'd have to look up because I think that's pretty interesting there. I don't know anything about it. What is this? Jewelry maybe? Nope. <clears throat> is that Dan Marino? That is Dan Marino. We had a Dan Marino coin. So that is really cool. I think that's Dan. Yeah, Dan Marino. And then you got, it looks like a limited coin. That could be worth a few bucks. I don't particularly know much about it. But again, something that somebody will probably like for a little bit of money. But more Alf cards. <laughs> I don't think I can go a minute without saying Alf. Alf. <laughs> we got, uh, these are interesting here. Let's see, we got some World War II cards. Now I've done pretty well with these in the past, so I wouldn't be surprised if this little lot here brought about $15. Um, it could bring more or less, I'm not too sure. We got some more garbage pail. Maybe these are the good ones. Um, again, I'm not too sure. That one looks pretty cool there. I'll tell you what, if that one's not worth anything, I'll probably be uh, keeping it, putting it in my collection. That is a a really cool card. Um, I like that one, so let's stick that aside. Um, more garbage pail. I always want to call these cabbage patch, and I know they're not cabbage patch, but I call them that half the time. We got a really cool Lakers um, pin. Now that is sweet. I'm not much of a Lakers fan. I was a huge Kobe fan, but um, I'm not much of a Lakers fan. I'm more of a Cavaliers fan, um, but that pin is pretty dope, so. I might end up getting kept by me. Got an Avon bottle. Big Mac. I don't think... I don't know if that has any value or not, but we'll put it aside. Moving forward. It's another little one of those figures. Guys, this box is loaded. Look at this. It's literally loaded still. I'm trying to work through it fast for you. And I was going to research stuff in, you know, in front of you guys, but I just really don't think we have enough time for that, for this video to be a reasonable length. More Pokemon cards. Or as... Old people call it Pokemon cards. So we'll look through some Pokemans and see if there's anything. Actually, is that a... No, it's not. We have a lot of him. He is uh, he is loaded up in here. I mean, this guy... Yeah, there's not... Uh, their base set, which is pretty cool, but... Other than that, I don't, I'll have my friend look through him too. He really knows a lot about Pokemon. I'm kind of just like, a, you know, middle of the line knowledge on them. Just kind of picking things up as I go. Um, we have more war cards. Those are cool too. Again, those will probably do pretty well through my auction. This is a bag of toys. That's neat. I don't know exactly what... Oh, look, his eyes light up. That is cool. I'll have to do a little more research on those. I think they're more Disney though, so they're probably not anything crazy. Um, Gen 13 Power Pack. This one's opened actually. It looked like it was sealed, but so we got some cards like those. Some more. This one's actually sealed, so that's pretty cool. We got a sealed one there. I'm gonna pull you guys up a little bit more. I'm slouching over like crazy. It's from my back. We got more garbage pail kids, of course. 
That's more than $25. I don't know if it's worth that, but through my auction, it could bring that. They've paid more, so we'll see. <clears throat> Got some baseball cards here. Some Gremlins 2 cards. Of course, we have to hit every good movie. It has to be a card for it, because why not? Cars 2, a real change up there. A bit more modern. We have more Garbage Pail Kids. I keep thinking I'm pronouncing it uh, Cabbage Patch. <laughs> we have Alf. Um, that's probably the 80th Alf thing I found. Let me grab a little stack and we'll roll through them. We got Elvis cards. It's RCA Studios. It's Superman cards. Those are cool. So check those out online. We got some uh, Daredevil vs. Wolverine. Famous Battles. Marvel. Yeah, Thor on the cover there. Again, Marvel Comics. Cool little stack. Guys, this box is still loaded. I'm trying to work through it, but got some more Pokemon. I almost said Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon cards. It doesn't look like a whole lot special there. Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> I just can't believe they've made cards for some of these. Ah, it's damaged. A Jurassic Park. I think my PSA 10 Jurassic Park cards just got knocked down to a 9, which is really unfortunate. A little hockey figure. He's kind of cool. Oh, my gosh, guys. There's still so much more. I can't believe how much is in here. I thought it would be like a quicker video. We are at 16 minutes. I'm so sorry. This is um, some Simpsons cards. Again, they were really just hidden on every single good show or movie. So those are cool. Let's see what else we got. More Alf. More Cabbage Patch. The Garbage Pail. I knew I would do it. <laughs> There's another set of new cards. Don't know a lot about those. Cindy Lauper. That looks like some musical cards there. Interesting. More Garbage Pail. Garbage Pail. We have tons of pins. More garbage pail. Things loaded up. Tons of different collectible cards. I don't know what these even are, to be honest. Some of these look like Superman. I don't know what the rest were. We'll put those aside. All right, guys, I'm just going to kind of take you over it, and we're just going to kind of work through the rest of it. Cause I didn't realize how much would be in here. It's quite insane. So we have some other dinosaurs playing music, of course. Why not? <clears throat> Little Shop um, of Horrors cards here. We have some more. St we have some Star Wars there. Some more Star Wars. There's a ton of loose cards in the bottom of here. They look like they could be all sorts of different things. Some G.I. Joe. Some uh, we got some pins in here. I've done really well with pins in the past. I don't know if these are the ones that I did well with. Let's see, they're marked 84. They could be okay. I'm not too sure. Um, I know the really old pins I crush it with, but these are cool. What is this? This is um actually I have no idea what that is. Pretty cool though. A lot of 80s nostalgia going on. Then we have trolls. Of course, we couldn't go without the trolls. There's some more cards here, gargoyle. I mean, there's just so much in this one box, guys. And again, I have so many boxes full of this stuff. So I'm pretty excited to look through the rest of it. I'm gonna call it quits here because my leg's hurting. I'm slouched over very awkwardly. Some baseball cards. I mean, there's just uh, so much stuff. So. There's everything. I mean, even if we average, you know, a dollar to two dollars a piece on all this stuff, it would still bring hundreds of dollars. Um, I think on this garbage pail, kids, I think we're gonna be surprised by how much they bring. And my friend did look up this card and it's worth about $70. So, I mean, that is a uh, pretty spectacular. Um, the coin is not worth much. It's only worth a few bucks, but still um, pretty neat. So guys, I am uh, about done here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. Normally, it's going to be edited down and stuff, but um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.